the first impacts of Haiti's next nightmare. Rain from the outer bands of Thomas coming down on the camps of Port-au-Prince. Authorities are advising all of Haiti's more than 1.3 million IDPs to evacuate their makeshift shelters, causing panic among those with nowhere else to go. Today the UN told me I had to leave just with one gallon of water and a small bag, and I'm not happy with this. Speaking to Al Jazeera, Haiti's prime minister was frank about what options authorities have available. We are trying to explain to the people whatever solution that you find, you can find for the two next days, for the next 48 hours, try to use it. We will help you, direct you, bring food to you. We will give, in the case of the city, some shelters, provisional shelters. But you know that we don't have enough. If you have a solution, use it. But it's not just the short-term damage Port-au-Prince needs to worry about. Here at the city's waste dump, it's easy to see what other risks a possible hurricane could bring. These trucks are unloading tons of human excrement into an open lagoon, a clear example of the woeful state of Haiti's sanitation infrastructure. The health risks from dumping an entire city's human waste in a site like this were high even before the cholera outbreak. But when you think about the amount of rainfall that could arrive with Thomas and the risk of flooding, the situation becomes even more worrying. Sanitation advocates say with the storm's arrival imminent, it may be too late to take measures to stop the spread of the disease. They're driving through raw sewage and driving right back out into the streets of Port-au-Prince. And once the streets become flooded, anything that's on those wheels is just going to go out into that water. Meanwhile, at a command center set up by the government to respond to the dual emergencies, Haitian medical officials say the onset of Thomas is the worst possible setback to their efforts to contain cholera. Even without the cholera, after all weekends, usually we have a little outbreaks of diarrhea, of cold, uh, infectious disease, and even without the cholera problem. So then with the cholera, it's even bigger now, so that's why they, we are really... With the storm expected to strengthen as it passes over Haiti, a highly vulnerable population waits under sticks and tarpaulin to see how much worse life might get. Sebastian Walker, Al Jazeera, in Port-au-Prince, Haiti.